and it smells like a lumberjack, AKA a Cody. I don't know what type of miracle they put in here. Like hopped onto the corner of my lip and I got burnt because I was sitting in Delta One doing a skincare mask. Yes, I was. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the first installment of my 2023 favorites. We're gonna be doing skincare favorites. I'll be sharing my skincare favorites of the year and I also have makeup favorites coming and luxury favorites as well. So if you guys would like to see my top products of 2023 that were brand new in my collection, then please keep watching. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out by letting me know which type of content you all like most. I will be changing up the formula in 2024, so be sure to let me know if you like skincare content because if y'all really aren't feeling it by way of views, analytics, uh, or comments, I will mix it all together just because we're gonna pivot a bit. So be sure to let me know if you guys like these videos and if you would like to see more skincare because I know that it's not the top category on my channel, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for all feedback. So let's get into these items. These are going to be items that I acquired or tried for the first time in 2023. And I have a big old list in this little bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull right out in no particular order. First, I have the Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense Hair Thermal Protection. So I went to my hairstylist earlier this year and she was using Moroccan oil products and I fell in love. It made my hair feel so soft and smooth and I saw that there is a reparative line and you guys know that I like to treat my hair kind of prophylactically like it is already super damaged. I mean I am relaxed so it is damaged to some degree but I like to treat it as though it's really damaged to help build up that strength. So this was necessary because I do flat iron my hair twice a month. This is their thermal heat protectant. I love it because it is a fine mist spray. The only thing I would mention is that you are supposed to spray this onto damp hair. If you wait too late and don't apply this to damp hair, it will affect the way your flat iron or your hot tools kind of work. So be sure if you do get this product that you use it exactly as the instructions state because that will give you the best results. I love this so much. I used to use a Joyco heat protectant that was a spray as well, but they discontinued it. So it was time to find a new one and I have no complaints with this. I can never exactly tell the difference of a heat protectant, but it protects your hair from heat. So I figure it's worth it and definitely a necessary product. Okay, let's just round out hair because hair is from our scalp and your scalp is your skin. The next product is also the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo. And I love this. So I use the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo and then I use the Audra Beauty Deep Conditioner, the Balmint one. Favorite, favorite. I've been using that for a few years, but this is new. So this helps to make my hair so hydrated. The only thing I will say is that it smells a little masculine like cologne and also it doesn't suds the best. I would say that this is a formula. It gets sudsy, but the first time I used it, I felt that my hair was a little stringy feeling. I didn't feel like it was sudsing up as much as my other shampoos, but I've since gotten used to it and I like it. It really helps to build up the strength in my hair, I think. I still get my hair trimmed regularly and it's just so soft and strong and I don't have to get a lot trimmed off my hair. So I will say that this is working. Once again, this is from their moisture repair line, which is really great for hair that is dry and or damaged. I have no complaints about this but there was a slight learning curve if you will getting used to how this felt in my hair at first but now I've since adjusted and I love it okay let's get into proper skincare the first item is a face mask that I started using probably a few months ago and I was like where have you been all my life? Because where has this been? This is the Ferreo Bulgarian Rose Hydrating Sheet Mask. And this is the most intensely hydrating mask I have ever tried on my face. I traveled with this on an airplane. 
because I was sitting in Delta One doing a skincare mask. Yes, I was. This makes my face so hydrated and so glowy and just juicy. <laughs> it leaves your skin with so much excess product after you take the sheet mask off after the 15 to 20 minutes. And your skin is so much more hydrated and brightened. Bulgarian Rose is really great for hydration, as you can see the wet flower petals. But I love this. It's on sale right now at Macy's. I'm going to purchase a few more of these because they only come in three packs. I also have this in the disc version for the Foreo UFO, but the hydration of this is on a different level. I think just because the surface area is so much bigger and there's much more luscious serum. This is my favorite hydrating mask ever. Foreo, you did your thing. I'm not the biggest fan of Foreo's skincare products overall as in actual products, not devices, but this She's the GOAT. Okay, next we have a product that I was recently gifted during Vlogmas, but I have used it previously and loved it. It is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5. Now, I always have to tell this story because I was eating pizza one day and y'all know that I'm a bit impatient. I'm working on it. I've gotten better, but I still have a long way to go. So I was rushing to eat pizza because I was so excited. And a piece of the either cheese or the marinara sauce like hopped onto the corner of my lip and I got burnt. Like just my luck, right? So I had literally an area of exposed cracked skin and every time I went to speak, I had to open my mouth, it kind of re-exposed the fleshy part. I know, probably TMI and really gross, but this really helped to heal and repair my skin because it is a dimethicone skin protectant. So if you have a child, if you have like regular kids, toddlers, anything, or if you are just prone to cuts, bruises, and burns, you will love this for helping to heal your skin skin it works so well I would apply it a few times a day and it helps to hydrate that area keep it nice and moist but not too moist and allow it to properly heal this is amazing for cut scrapes burns anything like that I will always keep this on hand and I am happy to now have a backup and La Roche-Posay overall is a really great brand that sells high quality skincare products that are dermatologist backed that aren't too pricey so we love that okay the next product that I discovered this year that I really really love is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And if you've been watching me during Vlogmas, you know that this has just been amazing for me. I also took it to Hawaii this past month. Those vlogs are coming soon and it is just the best. So this has like a cult following. Makeup artists love it, celebrities. I've always heard how amazing it was, but just never tried it. So what I love about it besides the fresh citrusy scent, is that it is a lightweight cream product that feels lightweight yet really hydrating on the skin. I don't know what type of miracle they put in here, but the consistency in the container is rather thick. But when you actually apply it to your skin, it's a thin consistency and texture that melts into your skin and makes your skin so hydrated. It's gotta be the vitamin A and E in here. This is just amazing. Some women and men like to use it as a face primer for makeup. I don't really use it as such, but there is a cult following for a reason. I'm not trying to say you need to be joining cult-like things, but this is amazing. It just, I love it. It's very lightweight. It doesn't make my skin juicy like the Belief Aqua Bomb, but if I'm going to be in hot weather but I still need a lot of hydration, I will use this. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Bobby Brown, you did your thing. I now see why so many makeup artists rave over this product. Okay, my next product is by Shawnee Darden and this is the Hydration Peptide Cream to moisturize, plump, and replenish your skin. This was another moisturizer that I tried this year that I fell in love with because it is so thick and hydrating, like it's a real cream product. It's also unscented, but it doesn't make you feel oily or greasy. So in the winter time, I use this as my AM moisturizer if I'm not wearing makeup because it makes you glow like no other. And it visibly plumps your skin. Your skin just feels like nourished and revived without making you greasy. I've heard women and men who have dry skin rave over this normal skin and oily skin like myself. Usually a creamy moisturizer makes me overly oily even in the fall and winter. So I really, really like this product. Once again, I use it during the day in these cooler months when I'm not wearing makeup because I'm not worried about being too hydrated and juicy. It really surprised me. I I 
think this is a great AM moisturizer. If you really like a glow and hydration and lots of hydration and comfort to your skin without looking like a grease ball. So shout out to Shawnee Darden. I tried a few of her products this year, but this was definitely my favorite. And I will link her entire product line overview down below that I've done on my channel. Okay, next skincare product. This one really surprised me and I'm even surprised that I'm including it now. But this is the Ren Glow and Protect Serum, the vitamin C glowy gel, something like that. This is a product that also has quite a bit of a cult following. I've always seen women and men rave about this product as well. But how I feel about vitamin C is I just use whatever because of another product I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant, so it helps protect you from the damaging rays of the sun. It also makes you glow and it imparts a lot of radiance into your skin. So it's very protective in nature, but it helps the look of your skin also. I don't think you need to spend a ton of money on a vitamin C. This is a great middle of the road product. I want to say it's around $45 to $55. It's more of a gel consistency, so I think it's great for all skin types, but it helps make your skin feel so hydrated and it makes you glow. This is probably my third favorite vitamin C but it's very, very high up there. Yeah, if you're looking for a great vitamin C, I would highly recommend this. There is a reason why people love it so much. It's really the only product in Ren's skincare offering that I've really liked. All the glow, all the radiance, all the protection, and the texture is really nice. If you guys can see from these products, I'm very texture specific, and this fits the bill for sure. Okay, my next product you guys have seen me rave about and use in so many videos, and this is the newest product from Belief in my collection, the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. So before this, I was using the pharmacy, but y'all know that I don't really rock with pharmacy like that anymore. It's not anything about their products. It's how they handled their influencer ambassador program earlier this year or later last year. So I just don't really like supporting the brand, but that's just me. Their products are really great. So I wanted to check out this Belief one because the Belief Aqua Balm is my favorite AM moisturizer across the board. It's very hydrating, it's lightweight, it's a gel, it's great for oily skin types, and it makes your skin juicy without being too heavy like the hydration peptide cream. So I gave this a try and it's my new favorite. It smells just like the Belief Aqua Bomb. It has a very fresh lever type of citrus aquatic scent. I will say that the texture and consistency is a bit harder than the pharmacy uh, green cleansing balm or whatever it's called. But this works so well at removing all of your makeup. While the texture might be stiffer than I'm used to, immediately upon contact with your skin, it starts to melt. I will link an Instagram reel I did down below where you guys can see how effortlessly this takes off your makeup. If it's on shorts, I'll also link it. But this is awesome, awesome, awesome product. Definitely worth it. I will forever purchase this until I find something else I like. It's not too expensive and it works well at removing all traces of makeup while leaving your skin feeling not dry but also not overly oily because some cleansing balms <clears throat> Clinique leave your face feeling like you have lard on it and we don't like that. Okay I also really loved and excuse this product because it looks disgusting the Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. This is the best cleanser for oily skin in the summertime. It has peppermint oil in it I believe it feels so invigorating it clears your pores so well well it's not I don't like the texture per se like it it doesn't have a foamy anything but it's a mud so it feels more like a lotion but it gets your pores so clear if you wear lots of makeup in the summertime and you have oily skin you will love this product I received it well over a year ago but I just started using it probably in the summer this year staple. Osea has such great products and most of them are very hydrating, but this is for oily skin. If you have oily skin and you're looking for a great kind of stripping cleanser, you will like this. It makes your skin just feel so rid of all oil and impurities. It is perfection. Okay, the last new product that I loved this year is the Malin and Goats. <laughs> Am I saying that correctly? I don't know. The Malin and Goats Rum Hand and Body Wash. 
This is Cody in a bottle. If you guys saw the vlog where Kendra and I went to New Orleans, we spent 24 hours in New Orleans on a road trip. I raved about this product because they had it in the hotel. It was the best part of the whole hotel experience overall. But uh, the scent is called Rum. It's a little, oops, I'm spilling this. It's a little boozy and sweet and just yummy. And it's a little masculine, but it works. And it smells like a lumberjack, AKA a Cody. If you guys have been watching Vlogmas, you know all about who Cody is. This is what Cody smells like. Love it, love it. It is a little pricey, but not too much. And it just smells so yummy. I love it. It's a Cody. So of course, <laughs> We love it. It's a great scented product and I think I might get the rum eau de parfum that Nordstrom sells because I love it. Okay, and the last product I want to talk about is not something that I acquired this year, but I always rave about it and it has been the one thing that has transformed my skin. Sometimes in videos, people come back and they're like, oh my goodness, I'm just finding out about this. How come no one said anything? I've been raving about this product for over a year now. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Universal Peel Pads, but this is the extra strength variety. They have Sensitive, which is in a blue tab. They have Universal Daily, which has an orange tab. And then they have Extra Strength, which has a red tab. So these are great for those with strong, resilient skin. Those of us who are acne prone. If you have seen my bare skin, I mean, I'm having a really good week right now. Shout out to my hormones. We love that. But my my hyperpigmentation has faded so much in the past year and a half because of these. Because of these alone and nothing else, this has been the most drastic change in my skincare routine that has made all the difference. Now, they are very pricey. They cost about $100. I use them every other day or every three days, but they make my skin glow, they remove texture, and they help to get rid of that outermost layer of skin. It is a peel. It helps to reveal newer skin, brighter skin, renewed skin. I swear by these. Now, the sensitive and the normal may still be too strong for some people. If you have very sensitive skin, I would steer clear. I am acne prone, but I don't have sensitive skin, so I can use the extra strength and they don't irritate me at all. But my skin is night and day. If you've seen me during Vlogmas, you know that my skin is a lot more even toned now. We're still not perfect and we probably never will be until these hormones regulate, probably in my 50s. But this is what I can attribute to my light and pigmentation. Fabulous. So guys, those are all the products that I had to share with you for my favorites of the entire year. These are all products that I've recently acquired or discovered in my collection, in my arsenal that have worked so well for me. Let me know if you're loving any of these products or if any of these are on your list, what you're gonna try. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and stay tuned to tomorrow for the makeup favorites of 2023. Bye.